Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and what the hell's wrong with this thing? Gosh. I don't know, for a second there, it looked like my camera got a little blurry or something. So anyway, uh, just another busy morning, but not too much work to do, because I already have all my outsourcers doing their thing. Um, you know, I've been trying to, you know, create another crypto, in addition to helping out Mitch. So things are coming along fine. We're still waiting on the uh, GMC coin um, and help console bug fix for the swap. So I don't know, maybe a couple more weeks, but it'll get done for sure. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, uh, whatchamacallit. Basically, I'm going to be commissioning a bunch of people to create uh, this crypto, this new crypto. Uh, and I'm going to try it out. And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, well, so I'll see what happens with it. Um, but should be, uh, but it actually seems to oddly make a lot of sense, especially given that it's actually, uh, you know, in terms of market cap, the coins that I'm basically copying are way worth way more than what we're doing. So I don't know. So it's uh, it's important to try new things and to challenge your uh, assumptions. So uh, yeah, um, because <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave it at that. But anyway, if it works. Yeah, basically, uh, yeah, you know, God's like, yeah, yeah, you need money, yeah, here you go, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, I'll take it, you know, just, just, just print millions out of thin air, though I really think it's going to be, like, if it works, it'll be more like printing hundreds of thousands of dollars out of thin air, which is perfectly fine with me, you know, I could use another hundred grand, I mean, who, who doesn't, you know, so, uh, we'll see, we'll see, uh, the winner will get T. All right. So, uh, so Mitch also told me that network fees, and I noticed it myself, have been going up. So yeah, this looks pretty good. So, all right, let's get right into it. Um, Bitcoin searches for this week have been are still nine, so it's still pretty bad. So this is all rich people doing the doing the booming, which is perfect for me because when the, when when these fucking idiots finally start jumping in, you know, we can we can officially call it the bull runs in full swing. So uh, I guess this is technically a good thing. Bitcoin dots is dropping to 61.5%. This is critical. So remember how I said you want your wealth to actually be in Litecoin or Dogecoin or whatever major altcoins on the top 100 list? This is the reason why. These are going to outperform Bitcoin. So that's where you're going to get the most mileage out of your money. And of course, you know, I'm being proven right. Just look at these numbers. Now that, now that isn't to say that I don't want Bitcoin to not go up. Of course I want that shit to go up. I just want the other coins to go up more than Bitcoin. All right. Look, we're playing for millions of dollars. We're not playing for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, 24 hour volume, 64 billion. So very light. So this is definitely all rich people. Uh, Bitcoin's basically at 9,500 bucks. So very good. Uh, so it went up. Litecoin's at 44.79. Not going up as much as I like, but at least it's going up. Uh, twice the amount of Bitcoin, at least percentage wise. Yeah. Dog coin. Let's see. Yeah, it's been they've been able to hold on to their gains pretty well. Four twelve point six million market cap. Not bad, not bad. Um, so there seems to be some sort of conflicts on the equity market, so I need to see what's going on here. Because before it was up a lot and then before nine thirty and then now that I'm doing my video, it looks like shit's going down. Uh Remel was also going up, now it's going down. Uh, stocks fall after jobless claims come in worse than expected. Yeah, I mean, this uh, like they're not going to let this uh, lockdown bullshit let, let up. They're going to bankrupt everybody in America just to piss everybody off and then vote out Trump. And it's going to work. Because look, right? Trump's now down 23%. I'd rather just play a new game, a new video game. It's called How Far, How Far Can Trump Go Down? Because Kanye West, he, he fucked up, right? He's not going to be able to get on the ballot. So that's why he's not going to be able to help out Trump. Which kind of pisses me off, to be frank, uh, frankly honest. But what are you gonna do? Uh, AMC for delays reopening U.S. movie theaters, so they're gonna go bankrupt and then sell out to Amazon probably, and it's working too. Uh, when I went to, I mentioned this yesterday, but I'll mention it again. It was kind of insane. I saw more people than normal, but a lot of businesses are closing, including one of the local Chinese restaurants I like to, used to go to. They were kind of really expensive though, right? They closed up shop. They're all gone. Entire buildings are for sale by the owner, right? So people are going bankrupt, right? And it's working, right? 
Even AOC, that dumb big cunt herself, said, yeah, we want to back up everybody to get rid of Trump. It's worth it. And, like, it's like these fucking evil people. They're all fucking evil people. Uh, now, that being said, I do see that Tesla is gaining... Uh, wow, even despite going down, it's still going up in value. So Tesla's definitely going to be doing all right, because uh, Elon Musk isn't stupid. He also knows not to just completely diversify. Plus, he sells to everybody. And um, I have a feeling that you know more left-wing people tend to be more environmentally conscious than, say, right-wing people. So who has all the money? Yeah, left-wing people. So, yeah, uh, U.S. to pay Pfizer, BioNTech, 95 blah, blah, blah. U.S. beef pricing probe falls short of confirming manipulation. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, Fargo's customers say bag pause. I did wind up buying some Tyson uh, barbecue chicken strips, though, because they looked really good. The packaging looked really good. The price was actually reasonable, finally. Uh, and it did look, um, and they didn't have anything else for barbecue stuff. So I just wanted to see if it'll work. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have. Let's see. When? It, oh man, today is weight day. Oh man, God. damn it! I don't really want to feel like lifting weights, but I did. I did make sure to get some good, uh, uh good night's rest. So. Uh, so I gotta make sure I bring up the fucking weights. So I don't know if you can even see this. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, it's very important to keep your lower back straight, because that's what I learned, because that's why I would have lower back pains. All right, there we go. All right, so, um, unicorn record, Fannie Mae draws a zero dollar price target due to dilution. Fannie Mae may be worthless to public shares, going to its nearest analyst. Uh, fear, jumbo, mortgage. Uh, Bloomberg's actually pretty good. I wonder if they're going to lock me out to the free article shit. Oh, okay. It's actually free. Actually, I do want to read this. That's pretty short, so we'll add that. Uh, I did want to skip this. Uh, Jumbo Mario Pope, Mario Pope. Um, man, I really don't want to read Market Watch. Let's see. Maybe they'll do us a nice little courtesy here. No, of course not. Uh, they're talking about Freddie and Fannie Mae. Okay, so we're just going to read this then for that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hey, wait, did it say gamers? Oh, gainers, as in gaining food. Or, I don't know, gaining points. Uh, okay, that's down. So, GMC, 7 and 9, nothing new here. In fact, it looks like buy pressure is increasing. Which is actually impressive, considering that crypto is going up too. That's because all coins are going up too. 404 doing solid as always, 303 to 308. 2x2 two two coin actually has gone up a little bit. Now it's up to the 52 to 53 mark. It's in the low 50s now. So that's a very good sign. Rix is, yeah, this is about right where it should be worth 147 to 150. All right. Uh, but still plenty of buying and selling volume. And a lot of people are getting into it. So nothing new on my channel. Um, Bitcoin activities at highest since 2017 bull run, bull, bull, bull run, bull run, I'm not trying to pronounce Enron. Uh, yeah, it's always gaining users. Hmm. Maybe I do actually want to read this too. Man, we're going to have a lot of shit to read too, because I actually want to get back to my gaming with playing Star Conflict, and I want to think more about... Uh, like cryptocurrency experiment plus you know I still have to do more research on dragons so I can create the company logo for my company uh, so you know but my guys already working on the logo for this cryptocurrency experience so I want to make sure I assign one at a time for him plus he probably doesn't mind anyway I mean, he could use the steady work you know he's not hurting for money that's for sure uh, yeah so we'll read the US banks can now hold Bitcoin on behalf of their customers uh, what? Okay, fine. I find it funny that Google News is willing to uh, uh, index this. They don't usually like it when you curse in their headlines. Blow up Bitcoin's butt. Okay, that's old news from two days ago. Um, 
Idiot bears, Vax Kaiser is an F word. US banks allowed to hold Bitcoin, Ethereum for customers. Okay, so we'll, re we'll read this article for that. So this seems pretty important. Okay, so we're actually gonna have a lot of news. All right, but that's very good for uh, mainstream adoption for sure. The important thing is, is progress, slow, steady progress, right? It's just like me when I was coding. Before, when I started, I had no idea what the fuck I'm doing. And I was like, how do I compile this shit? Even with the instructions, or even how to find the instructions on how to compile. Fast forward to like, I guess now seven months later, I'm like, oh yeah, now I could actually compile this shit, you know? So, uh, and yeah, I'm making games. So yeah, it, it works out. It's just slow, steady progress. You're you're obviously going to be completely bad and worthless, just like the video games, right? In an MMORPG, you start out as level one with practically nothing, and like you're a nobody. And then as you progress through the game, right, you get stronger and smarter and better. Like that's just a guaranteed result, assuming you just keep doing it over and over again. But that's just how it works, you know. So uh, Bitcoin adoption is the exact same way. This is actually a very nice. This, I, I like their color schemes here. It's a very nice website, and it's super simple too. Huh. Um, I definitely should steal this at some point. All right. Anyway, uh, fuck. Do I really want to bookmark this? Because I'm gonna need to also build the cryptocurrency website too. I kind of want to steal. Oh, I'll think about it. All right, anyway, uh, I to repeat, no, shut up. Blackroot says he's crypto already ready to rally. Uh, okay, uh, Bitcoin says crypto trades ignore two. Okay, so it looks like the um, great includes another regulatory hurdle to bring Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin Trust to over counter markets. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So, yeah, so now, so yeah, I mean, the markets are the stock markets do want to use cryptocurrency, they just need to regulate it. PayPal is now teaming up with another New York based trust company to launch their own crypto service. Yeah, fuck you, PayPal. Banning people still. Ripple funding research. Okay, fuck that. Whales are buying uh, whales are buying three altcoins of Bitcoins. Three, da, 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 da. Okay. Alright, so the good news is everything's alright, so if you remember from a long time ago when I used to do videos, which is basically only two people now watching my channel. I've given up on Parlor too because I don't know, for some reason now the traffic has just completely died. So I, I don't know, uh, but with that being said, that is a gigantic dragonfly. Now with that being said, um, what should I call it? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so they did say that this coming bull run will be the bull run of the altcoins, uh, in a somewhat similar way. It was kind of the same thing in the last bull run, but this one will be even more pronounced. So uh, it's coming. So it's exactly coming true. Like I actually kind of always knew that I did mention I used to mention a lot in the past and then I haven't really said much about it I guess most of this year but yeah I still believe that that's why I tell people that's why I still say I'm holding my shit in Litecoin that's my preferred coin you know dog coin could work too it's definitely a bigger gamble with a much bigger payoff but you know remember, I'm getting older I remember, I'm getting older and. You know, like fly killer right here and um you know i i need i need something i need more safety right you know because i'm not fucking young and i tell you i can't get a job now because uh because of the fucking lockdown bullshit i mean i don't even i mean i don't even know if actually let's take a look central casting let's see central casting legit yes uh what? That's totally not it. Oh, they re they redesigned their website. They're really oh god. That's really oh god. This thing is very distracting. Uh, uh to review if you wish. Uh, okay. So check the list. Uh, discussing custom design. I will look here. I really like as a successful background act. Like bio. What's custom design? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, this is the one I went to, of course. So this is for Atlanta, Georgia. They have New Orleans. Oh yeah, so New Orleans is still filming. 
Burbank, California. I assume this is for the service Hollywood, of course. So central casting started out in Hollywood, then they moved to New York. Uh, and then I went to Georgia, became a big filming in area, and then New York. Oh, yeah, so you know, all those so-called boycotts didn't do shit. Uh, so I don't see anything here that says they're closed. Yeah. Yeah, they don't look closed. I seriously... Oh, God, I, I have to admit, as cool as this looks, it's so distracting. I don't actually like this. Oh, come on. Who is this person? Um, Jennifer. She actually did used to actually call me directly when, she, when, I, when I booked for jobs and she would confirm. Wow, does she, does she actually own the company, or at least owns part of the company? Well, at least she does seem uh, nice. Now, she is actually a really nice person, so... Yeah, alright. Well, I don't see anything here that says they're closed, so... Um, why did I mention that? Oh, yeah, so... Okay, so maybe I could get a job doing background work again. I don't know, I have to ask my family members if they're still booking work. Uh, but, with that being said... I completely lost my train of thought with the dragonfly and then now with the background shit and then I got completely distracted by the razzle dazzle of the fucking central casting moving thing. Yeah, but yeah, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, the point is money's gonna be tight for a lot of people, I guess, but uh, yeah, rich people are still gonna be doing their thing. In fact, the rich have been getting richer, right? During coronavirus, like, I forgot what it was, the distant right website said, but like, uh, major corporations gained like a couple hundred million, uh, whatevers. Yeah, but anyway, um, let me see. Concern on XRP debate. Okay, so I already looked at that. All right, so we looked at Trump. Uh, so Scott Adams has abandoned Donald Trump, says he's likely going to lose. So yeah, that's why I fucking hate this master persuasion bullshit. There's no principle to it. They just, they're, they're literally, a, they're, they exemplify what bandwagon effect is. That's why I don't like it. So, and which doesn't surprise me. I think the guy went away finally, stupid dragonfly. Well, it doesn't surprise me because of, um, you know, they have no, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, it's all based on lies, which is why I never liked it. Now, I went along with it in 2015 because it was novel, it was hilarious, Trump really was on his game. Yeah, but it's all about the fucking grift. And now, like, basically, once Trump gets kicked out, they're going to shift the entire, the entire of the fucking asshole right is going to co-opt the, you know, corporate uprising America first movement and then leverage that into anti-China stuff. So I'm going to get very angry. I mean, at this point, like, you know, the Republican Party does need to be destroyed. That's my point of view. If we can't reform it, can't infiltrate it. To be honest, I think it should just be destroyed completely. All right. Anybody who wants to join from the Republican Party, go into this party, and then we make it explicitly Christian or something. It's going to be pretty tough to keep subverters out, but we'll I'll think of something. Uh, so Trump is just fucking retarded. New York City is now the worst place to do business. Retailers say uh, that doesn't matter. They're just going to steal. They're just going to get their. They're going to get the bailouts from Silicon Valley and the American government. Uh, oh, tomorrow's at a funeral fire. People attending the return fire. People attending the funeral returned fire in Chicago. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah. Uh, was a clear was a clear recipe to all Americans. Yeah, so maybe you ought to fucking do something about it. See, this is why I fucking get annoyed at Trump. He thinks he could just tweet shit and things get fixed. No, it doesn't. Uh, tear gas for federal officers at protest. That's hilarious, and that's good. He should be, because fuck that traitor. Not that we can do anything about it, because obviously Trump's ineffective. There we go, the CNN. Uh, Mayor Lightfoot. Yeah. Hey, she's pretty attractive, whoever that is. Uh, if I get really bored, none of those are bored. Well, whatever, 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 whatever. Let's see. New York Times. Chinese propaganda, no problem. Opt in for a bunch of the editor. Well, this is technically true, but of course, like, 
This is just stupid. Tom Cotton's just fucking retarded. Oh, so is Josh Hawley, too. Like, not only does he talk all this fake talk about free speech and shit, which I think he does kind of believe but doesn't do anything about it. He just likes to grandstand. He likes to bash China a lot. And then he fucking sides with the uh, fucking, what's his name, John Lewis. So why the fuck are you there? Right? The fucking Republican Party is utterly worthless. But that's why I have to make my game and do my own thing, because complaining about it doesn't do anything. As, you know, us conservatives seem to be finding out. But we're still doing it, because that's all we can do. But I think the more fundamental problem is conservatives are just simply passive-aggressive people. No creativity, no, not, no willingness to really open their mind. The very few of us that do, we're just, we're just too fucking few. So it's like, well, what, what the hell do you do, right? And, uh, and then the whole, then most of us are probably getting roped in by like, you know, the fake right your Scott Adams master persuasion persuasion bullshit. So ultimately, there really is no true conservatism. So it's gonna be tough. Uh, well, at least, I mean, uh, I mean, conservatives still don't like Islam or Muslims, I guess, but I don't know. It hasn't really been a major thing. I mean, that's actually funny enough. One of the downsides to completely solving the uh, what was the ISIS crisis, right? Now there's no boogeyman, right? Now everyone's peaceful, so people are like, oh yeah, well why are we attacking Muslims? They're like the threat, the threat of radical Islamic terrorism is gone. So it's, oh boy. Um, all right. See. Yeah, Trump's just being fucking bad. This is why Trump's losing. Nothing about no web, no nothing about empathy. Has a couple of digs at Chinese people or China at least. Like this fucking retard. Like not only does he deserve to lose, but he deserves to lose in like the worst possible landslide possible. It's like, and yeah, the numbers reflect that. Like if there was a hidden Trump vote, I think it's probably going to go down now, right? So. Also because uh, Joe Biden actually sounds more like a social conservative uh, than Trump because of Trump's incompetent ads that he's running. Because he's actually pandering the left now. It's like this guy is just so stupid. Fatty May draws a zero dollar price target due to dilution. Uh, Fatty May could be worthless. Stupidity. Federal National Market Social Security underperform rate a price target to zero dollars for... Uh, FHA and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac be required to hold all this stuff. Any recap of any likely result of subsidiary of the public share of coffee wrote, uh, shares closed Tuesday at $2.09. I actually suggest that the process of recapitalizing Fatty, but yeah, I will never buy these stocks uh, ever. Uh, there will be little to no doubt left for current brand, and that any result of our crew will be greatly delayed by the Treasury's warrant company. So that warrant growth covers roughly 80% of the shares outside when exercise and expires in 2028. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, this is basically the dumping ground. So basically what happens is the American taxpayer, um, how do I put this? this the, the public investor who just goes into the market and buys these scam stocks subsidizes all the people like me who get borrow loans from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac when I eventually buy uh, commercial uh, mortgages. Um, for apartment buildings. And then whenever these guys get in trouble, the American government will bail them out, either through direct cash infusions or more likely just diffusions, like it's, I guess describing here, or just giving them more stimulus cash. So whatever the case is, yeah. You guys fit the bill, I keep all the money. Which is why I do which is why I want to get into commercial real estate. Like this is and they'll do it, they'll gladly do it because it's very important that people like me or people like you eventually, assuming any of you are smart enough to take my advice and, you know, ride the cryptocurrency infinite game because you're going to be playing this game of investing forever, right? But it doesn't have to be a lot of work, right? I just choose to do a lot of work because I don't have anything better to do, right? Um, and so will all of you. You'll find something to, you know, keep you company. Unless you really are like those assholes that really want to be like the idle rich just play golf all day. Um... Uh, well, that, and even then, I guess that's not too easy. You still have to hire someone to, to like do shit for you. Um, well, with that being said, yeah, you always have a safety net, right? Now you still could, you'll still have some risk, right? Like, as we see with this lockdown shit, look how hardcore they're willing to go to fuck everybody over. Hmm. See, the permanent business closures are on the rise. Okay, so. 
Where are we at? 25 minutes. Restaurants are getting hit the heart. Go away. During the early process, uh, how long is article? Okay, so it's. Uh, after I spike the temporary unemployment, uh, blah, blah, blah. The number of job losers who see their employment as permanent. Power is rising, inclined to 2.9 million in June, up from 1.3 million in February when the recession began. Right, because the globalists, you know, are evil people. The thing that really pisses me off is that they know it, they do it, they love it. They're telling us they're doing it, and then it's working. Conversion these days, a lot with the troubling signal, initial government, including juggling, sending out about to say the labor market paints and play, painting the years are more grim. Keep with this darkening outlook for the labor market, recent down rate, best draw has also been discouraging. Dear from Yelp, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow, wait. Yelp says 55% of business closures since March 1st are permanent in June. It indicated forty-one percent of its closed business closures were permanent. Holy shit! Even as total closures fall, per closure increase with. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see it in my neighborhood too. Uh, this also means that the percentage of permanent to temporary business closures is right, with permanent closures now accounting for fifty-five percent of all closed businesses. Okay, overall well, permanent closures have still increased since the peak, and no one has been hit harder than restaurant business. I mean, the restaurants I see in my area are surprisingly doing pretty well. Uh, in fact, the subways near me has closed down, but that's because those assholes that run it are scamming, rip-off, low-value uh, F-words. One time, they, the subway was running like a special. four ninety nine or three ninety nine for a six-foot-long sub. I go in there, I order it, he's charging me $6, and then I was arguing it for like two minutes. Like, but your sign says three ninety nine, And he says, yes, it's three ninety nine. Price is well, it's like... What the fuck? Now, because I was so hungry, I bought it, but I I think I actually, I think I made sure to uh, leave a negative review on Google for that shit. And I detailed the whole thing. And I said, I still bought it because I was desperate for food. I really had to eat. And it gave me, he gave me so little food. It was like, it was like, don't buy from here. It's a scam. Go somewhere else. Like, you know, uh, I still remember that. And so I'm actually glad that piece of shit subways went back because it deserved to. But of course, the problem is that entire building is for sale, for rent by owner. <laughs> Pretty soon, it's going to be for sale by owner. No one's going to buy that shit. And no industry has been hit harder than. Okay, I read that. There have been a bunch of business restaurants closing. Da, 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 da. Yeah, most of the restaurants in my neighborhood are doing just fine. So. Uh, but yes, other businesses have been closing. I mean, the thing is, I want to take a picture of it, but I don't want to actually dox myself, so I can't do it. But there's a lot of businesses that are closing. Uh, in fact, the furniture store that I used to that I used to buy my carpet when I first moved in here years ago they're they're long, they're long gone. Actually, I think they went back up before coronavirus. But once it, but if it definitely if they oh the Models near me is also closing down. So yeah, they're they're gone. Perfect closure, restaurants should heighten the efforts, but yeah, a lot of shit's going on. Person could to maintain employment, financial matter, part of rise of the as a fair employment of food and drinking places account for eight percent. Uh well okay, employment of food and drinking okay. Alright, so it's recovery. Short pipe the pandemic has wiped out two decades of employment gains for the sector. Okay, story I'm not gonna hit this story continues. I mean we get the we we get the we get the picture. I also noticed that Yahoo has started to remove comments as well. Like you don't see a comment section here because it turns out a lot of people are starting to get very angry about the lockdown shit. So, Bitcoin active entities at highest since 2017 bull run. Odd chain metrics suggest Bitcoin networks growing users despite the extended period of. Well, how much more do I have to go? Uh, seven day moving average. Okay, previous year. Okay. Average. Uh, I'm about to skip this article. I had a really good headline. Uh, an update big so far. Yeah, while well, numbers may be up because of activity that was sat at similar highs. That's what matters. Okay, well, well. And that's, you know, okay, this thing was completely worthless. I'm glad we didn't have to waste too much time. All right, banks are now allowed to hold major crypto. A new clarification in America allows all licensed bank America to offer custody services for crypto. SEP could be a major way of a die. It's kind of so reserved for specialists covered with special licenses such as Coinbase or Gemini. 
secure. Okay, so uh, the uh, okay, so that basically the major banks can now hold cryptocurrency. That's actually pretty good. I don't think we need to read the whole things. Uh, Brian Bermuda, unclear legal regulator could throw the U.S. behind. Okay, all right, all right, so blah blah blah. All right, so we don't need to read the whole thing. Um, I don't know, thumbnails. You know what? I think we'll just use this as a thumbnail actually. This is such a nice, sick layout. It's so simple. It's just a black background. You have your banner over here. So I'm going to put my ads banner over here. I'll probably have something on the down, some down there. Yeah, this is really nice. So anyway, US. Um, so this is important because, again, mainstream adoption. We're getting closer to using more crypto. Unfortunately, there's definitely a lot of people, especially on the distant right, that view a digital currency as really bad. Um, so I don't know. Uh, he should clarify that to say a centralized currency is very bad. Uh, but again, this is kind of the reason why I should be on top of everything. But I'm not getting promoted because why? Because I actually care about America, right? And I have the creativity to do so, right? But you know, that's not to say that people in the dissident right are not loyal to America either. They are, but they lack creativity. A willingness to try new things, open-mindedness, basically all the traditional things that weigh down uh, conservatives is really harming them still. It's like, it's almost impossible. In fact, I think it might be impossible. So, oh, it's just going to be how it goes. So, uh, but, you know, well, we march on. You know, at the very least, I'll get rich. I could probably keep my head relatively clean because, again, my game, it's not going to be like a hardcore conservative shit. You know, it'll just be... Uh, it, it'll have a very strong hint and feel of it, but it's going to be like, yeah, you know, that's why we're not going to talk about sexuality. We're not going to be talking about really anything crazy, right? No transgender stuff. It's just going to be your normal run-the-mill show, right? Because Star Wars didn't have any of that, so I could do the same thing. I'll just say, well, Star Wars didn't do that, and they're relatively successful. And when they tried to venture into that, look, look how badly they did. So fuck you, you know? You fucking write all this shit, pay the actors, get costume designers, hire concept artists, pay millions of dollars, several million dollars in advertising. You fucking make the show, then, you stupid F-words, all right? Oh, you can't do that. Well, then shut the fuck up, then. And that's what I'm just going to tell people. That's 100% true, right? I'm making shit. <laughs> you know, it, hell, even most liberals can't make stuff. Well, I mean, they do make stuff, but, you know, the vast majority of them are perfectly happy just working for someone else, right? And for the most part, they're not going to be complaining about what I do, all right? Unless they hate America, then, of course, they'll, they'll complain. But I'll just block them anyway because they weren't going to watch my show anyhow. And most liberals probably would watch my show and play my games anyway. They're not going to be happy that I'll be retweeting, like, maybe some right-wing stuff. But that's not going to matter because everyone's going to be banned off the Internet anyway, so... Uh, except maybe me, because, you know, I have to be scaling down my shit anyway. So if you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page to so continue growing this channel. So I'm done for the day. Um, I've got a lot of thinking to do and research, but other than that, I think I don't, I don't have anything to code yet. Because In fact, I don't have to do any coding until I get all my artwork done. So that's going to take at least a couple, hour, a couple of weeks. Uh, then I'll probably be distracted with my cryptocurrency stuff, but then I have to then go back and start doing the save function for my game. So there's going to be a lot to, for me to do for the next while. And then, of course, we get to see Trump get unceremoniously, well, maybe ceremoniously, uh, kicked out of office. I might actually consider going to the uh, DNC thing here in New York City that they always have every election every election year. Like, um, the only problem is I'm, I'm actually kind of scared and worried about mass shootings because when Trump loses, you know, there might be a couple of conservatives here in New York City that will just get so well they'll get tilted over the edge and start shooting everybody. So I kind of know I get caught, caught, caught in the crossfire. And of course, they're defunding the police too, right? So, and the Democrats actually won't want a mass shooting to occur, because then they'll just bitch about, oh, yeah, I'll, ha I'll have to, yeah, yeah. I guess I won't go. Forget it. I won't go. I'll, I'll just have to watch the live streams. But that's just how it goes. Anyway, I'll see you all 
today's Thursday, so I will see you all next Tuesday. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Judson Che, JFC coin, 404 coin. Uh, cryptocurrency quietly gains strength while markets, you know, figure out what to do economy wise. But other than that, everything's looking just fine. But conservatives are. Yeah, conservatives are going to be a thing of the past. In fact, the only person I'll remember anything about will probably be me. Yeah, the Groyper Uprising will do their thing, but um, I don't know. I still haven't gotten my t-shirts for it yet, so yeah. Uh, I don't have a lot of confidence they can survive longer. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they'll still be a they'll still be a force, but they won't grow. They won't be able to hold power, I don't think. I don't know. We'll have to see.